Uh, uh, today, um, I'll be first of all. I just want to say, sorry about that noise. It's just my neighbours washing their slabs. Uh, um, today I'm going to be making aloo gobi, which is cauliflower and potato curry. So I'm just going to show you what we need. So we need onions. Two two onions are cut up and chopped. Garlic ginger paste. Uh, one tablespoon each. Uh, one cauliflower which I've cut up into small it's up to you some people like the, these big but I'll just cut them small and uh, three four potatoes chopped up and uh, coriander fresh coriander one teaspoon of salt so it's up to you how much you want to put uh, like you can put more or less later so I only had two fresh tomatoes there so I've used a tomato tin just a bit of tomato tin with the fresh tomatoes and green chilies the thin ones and the fat ones I've just cut them up and for the basale um, this is a basar and I've used uh, one and a half teaspoon jeera uh, powder I've used one and a half teaspoon one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder and one and a half teaspoon of curry powder and this is one and a half teaspoon of garam masala so i'm going to show you what to do here we have got the oil already on so it's up to you how much oil you want to put in your pan you can some people like more some people like less so i just put according how much i want it's entirely up to you how much oil you want to use so first of all you're just going to warm the oil in the pot and add your onions and we're just gonna brown these onions it's gonna like a soft golden brown just make them a bit soft we're not gonna make them dark just a light golden brown so you're just gonna cook them and you can add your salt at this point and your ginger and garlic paste i'm just gonna mix that I'm just gonna cook these till they go, <clears throat> till the onions go soft. So the onions have gone soft now. Now you're gonna add your tomatoes and your spices. Just give that a good mix. So you just gonna let your tomatoes and spices cook until the oil starts oozing out. Once the oil starts oozing out, then we'll put the cauliflower in. It's pretty easy making this. This is just normal everyday cooking. And it doesn't take long. So just gonna cook this for about five, actually for about 10 minutes. So you're just gonna add a little bit of water. And cover it and let it cook on medium to high for about 10 minutes so this is done now so you can see all the oils come up so you just give it a mix the tomatoes are cooked now and the spices so I'm gonna add the cauliflower you add your cauliflower now and then you're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes this will give you a good mix so you're gonna cook this on medium to low for about 10 minutes you're gonna cover it and cook it till the cauliflower is cooked I'm just gonna add a little bit of water So 10 minutes. So your cauliflower is cooked now. It didn't take 10, about 20 minutes cooking. So you're just gonna, I'm just gonna add the potatoes. 
you're just gonna mix them in and just add a little bit of water so your potatoes can cook now so you just gotta go about 10 minutes add a little bit of water it's just so the potatoes because you don't want to put the potatoes first because then the, the potatoes cook quicker then cauliflower takes a bit longer so just let these cook for 10 minutes and just cover them uh, on a low to medium okay yeah, the potatoes are done now you don't want to overdo them or they'll go mushy so just give it a mix and i've just checked them they're done they've gone soft you just check yeah so now what you do is just add your green chilies your coriander and your garam masala give it a good mix mm. This smells so delicious. As I remember this from my childhood. My mom used to make me this cauliflower and potato curry. Reminds me of my childhood. This is my favorite. I hope you try it. So you just give this a mix and uh, wait. Just let it cook for two minutes and then it's ready. So your potato and cauliflower curry is ready now. I'm just gonna serve it in a dish. And you can have this with chapatis, with naans, with the rice and some nice salad. I hope you try this dish at home. And please let me know what you think of it in the comments. And please like, share and subscribe my channel. For And don't forget to press the notification bell so you can get my upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Bye.